the United States and dozens of other countries have recognized opposition leader Juan Guaido as oil-rich Venezuela's interim president and increased pressure on Maduro, a socialist, to step down. Washington this week revoked the U.S. visas of senior Venezuelan officials and said on Wednesday it had identified efforts by Maduro to work with foreign banks to move and hide money. Abrams, a neoconservative who has long advocated an activist U.S. role in the world, said he had been asking European banks to take steps to shield individual Venezuelans' assets from Maduro's government. He did not name the banks. More than three million people are believed to have fled Venezuela in recent years amid a deep economic crisis marked by widespread shortages of food and medicine, as well as hyperinflation. Senator Marco Rubio, Republican chairman of the Senate's Western Hemisphere Subcommittee, which held the hearing, warned that the flight of millions of Venezuelans could threaten regional stability. Regional catastrophe This has the potential to be a regional catastrophe of epic proportions, Rubio, who has worked closely with Trump on the administration's Venezuela policy, told the hearing. Maduro, who took over as president in 2013 and was re-elected last year in a vote widely viewed as fraudulent, blames the crisis on a sabotage campaign. His opponents say his socialist policies have caused the meltdown. Democratic Senator Bob Menendez, who wrote legislation calling for TPS, said, The Venezuelan diaspora is fantastic, they're incredible. All the more reason to give them TPS. He accused Russia and Cuba of shielding Maduro, who Abrams said was protected by thousands and thousands of Cuban military and intelligence officials while Moscow has supplied tens of millions of dollars to the government. Abrams confirmed media reports he had had at least two rounds of secret talks with Maduro's foreign minister, Jorge Ariza. When you have inflation by some estimates 2 million percent, nobody has the ability to buy anything anyway, so there will be profound despair and hopelessness, Green testified in the hearing. Abrams said the World Bank and International Monetary Fund had plans involving billions of dollars of funding to rebuild the economy after Maduro was no longer in charge of Venezuela. He added that Venezuela was not fundamentally a bankrupt country and that there would be lots of people who are ready to invest if there was a change in its leadership and economic policy.